Hey Virgo, let's get into it. Anyone new to the channel, a very warm welcome. My name is Leela. I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. So I have shuffled and cut the deck. The first three cards on the top, we have the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords indicates that there is anxiety here, maybe some sort of depression, worry, sleepless nights, nightmares, um, and generally kind of like a tense energy. So I feel you, Virgs. Um, you're the type of person, you know, you love the idea of love. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You you want to be loved. And it's not going to be for everybody. Yeah. Um, th this can indicate, like, maybe dating, getting back out on the dating scene, putting yourself out there. But there is some sort of confusion. I feel like a lot of you guys have choices. Maybe question, have I made the right choice? Maybe there's people or a particular person that's left you feeling quite confused and it could be someone that you generally you know really care about okay temptation is all around us Virgs. um so just be mindful of that okay and if you are feeling a bit anxious like i have been or a bit down or depressed or worried it will pass okay it may not feel like it will pass but it will pass on the bottom of the deck here we have the king of wands which can indicate a fire energy aries leo sagittarius um this energy could be coming towards you you could be unaware of it let's see what else we've got three of cups page of pentacles and the and the justice card all right so Three of Cups is about celebrating life, having the right people around you, okay? They don't have to be related by blood, okay? This is just about having the right people around you. The Three of Cups can talk about birth announcements. Maybe someone recently has announced a pregnancy, okay? But what I like about Three of Cups is trying to enjoy life, all right? Finding reasons to, to celebrate, to be joyful. The Page of Pentacles is about opportunities here. It's about gifts, there's opportunity to make a change. There's opportunity to do what's right. The justice card um, is, is karmic energy. So you do good, you get it back. You do bad, you also get it back. So I feel like a lot of you guys are mindful with that energy right now. I don't know if I'm making any sense. So after I've done this little reading, I'm going to go straight into a love reading on this deck. Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups. Something could be on pause with a particular person with the with the King of Cups coming up here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody very supportive. The King of Cups is all about patience. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys are either needing to be patient or you're implementing patience in your everyday life. The Seven of Pentacles is about slowing down, evaluating, seeing how far you've come. The Ten of Cups is happiness, emotional contentment, okay? having the right people around you that fill you with joy that fill you with love i think that's very important to you you could be particularly um thinking about somebody here and and wondering you know um what's happened to our happiness we were once happy i'm not sure so we're gonna just go straight into my usual love reading who's thinking about virgo chariot card it could be somebody that is a cancer it could be somebody that is completely different to you like there could be a lot of dynamics in the connection who's thinking about virgo they could be younger than you it could be an aquarius it could be somebody that's very impulsive um kind of like always on the go and then we have the seven of wands energy so it's like I don't know if this person's cut you off, if they're not talking, if they're highly defensive, if you're the defensive one, someone needing to protect their energy here. Maybe they've expressed that to you. Maybe you've expressed that to them. Okay. Guarded energy as well. Like I feel like there's a lack of trust here. So that's what I get with regards to who's thinking about you. Who wants Virgo is the next question. The Hermit card. It could be that another Virgo wants you. Who wants Virgo? Nine of Cups. Who wants Virgo? Six of Swords. So I feel like 
it's almost like I want to say things were once good, but now things have changed because that Six of Swords shows me that there's distance between you and the person that wants you. Yeah, I feel like there's been happy times. You ever been with somebody, but you still feel lonely? I get this energy here. So I feel like somebody's not providing you with the love that you desperately crave or need. And, and for whatever reason, I feel like you've moved on from that situation or you're trying to move on. Yeah? We'll clarify if needs be. Who truly loves Virgo? Justice cards. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? Somebody that admires you, looks up to you. They've said that. I feel like this person said it. Who truly loves Virgo? Star card. Aquarius energy. There's still hope. There's still faith. Whoever it is that truly loves you. Okay? That it feels like um with the with the star card, you know, sometimes people are, are really meant to come into your life and there's lessons here. And sometimes we figure out what the lessons is, sometimes we don't. And usually when we don't figure out the lessons, we repeat it until we learn the lesson. Okay, so I don't know if that makes any sense. But I feel like somebody really looks up to you here. Someone really admires you. Let's clarify this Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here for Virgo? Ace of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Six of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Cups. So again, we have this confusion here. And the confusion is around the passion. The confusion is around the the energy between you guys both okay um i feel it's almost like a mirroring of so of energies like sometimes we mirror people if you don't talk to me i'm not going to talk to you okay but what i do see here is gen generosity somebody that wants to keep a positive mindset and maybe that confuses you i don't know virgo do you get confused with people that are constantly happy <laughs> i mean I suppose so, being a Virgo. All right, so tell me more about this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen of Cups in reverse. So low self-esteem, Ten of Wands. You've had to move on because you don't feel loved enough or valued or respected okay maybe someone's made you question who you are as a person i feel like the energy has been quite hazy like this screen the screen's quite hazy today isn't it i tried to clean the camera but yeah i just feel like um sometimes people can 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 trigger you right and i feel like there's been a particular trigger here which has uh, made you kind of distance yourself from somebody here there's still love you see the thing about virgo is we can love you and completely cut you off there's no need to talk to you again there's no need to have you in my life maybe you're in the search you're you, you're searching for something more meaningful virgo yeah why is the star card here <clears throat> the knight of wands why is the star card here the king of pentacles why is the star card here and the Ten of Swords. Again, we're picking up on like quite anxious energy, maybe it's some sort of feelings of betrayal. But what I see here, Virgo, hopefully is you guys kind of getting into that energy where you you know you try to branch out you try to bring a venture some sort of fun in your life you're on a mission a soulful mission the king of pentacles indicates grounding energy you trying to ground yourself get shit in order whether it be your finances or just your life in general yeah let's see what's coming towards virgos in love what's coming towards virgos in love what is coming towards virgos in love the devil card say what's coming towards Virgos in love it could be a Capricorn it could be temptation what is coming towards Virgos in love the tower card so I feel like there's a purging energy like certain people need to get gone right I feel like certain people need to be washed away um, one more card what's coming towards Virgos in love 
it could be some sort of unexpected event there could be an apology here coming up with the page of cups there could be a fire sign particularly an aries that's coming towards you in love that seems to have some sort of feelings or um, emotions towards you yeah i want to put out some oracle messages and then we're going to wrap it up Um, anyone that has booked me for a personal, just to remind you, I'm still not in the 100% positive mindset to be doing any personal readings. If you'd like a refund, please reach out or just sit tight, okay? Because I will get it done ev eventually. Again, we have Aries energy here. We have this uh, spring equinox. We have a lot of things going on in the planets right now. You know, um, this lunar eclipse that's happening, I think, on the 8th of April. There's a lot of stuff going on in, in the universe. So if you're feeling a bit up and down, a bit unsure, I think it's quite normal. And what you're being called to do is kind of like go with the flow and take charge, actually, of areas of your life that need to be taken char charge of. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. <clears throat> oracle message for virgo three of cups reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children another oracle message for virgo please oracle message for virgo queen of wands so i like this energy you can do anything right now virgo go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people okay that's what i have for you my darlings hopefully something made sense there friggin love you guys thank you for the continued support um remember to reach out to me if you need somebody to connect with following the socials i follow back um and yeah as i always say from one Virgo to another be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and the gift will catch you on the rebound Mwah.